Unlike adrenaline, it can cross the blood-brain barrier, and it really likes to do that because there are a lot of receptors for cortisol in the brain, in particular in a region of the brain called the hippocampus, which is involved in memory. Now, we'll come back to the hippocampus later because the hippocampus is vital for understanding what happens during situations of chronic stress and why cortisol can be dysregulated under conditions of chronic stress. But for the time being, let's go back to thinking about cortisol simply as a mode of releasing glucose into the bloodstream. Cortisol releases glucose into the bloodstream. Much of that glucose is going to be directed toward brain energy so that neurons, nerve cells can use it to think and to deal with whatever happens to be confronting you during your day, good or bad, stressful or non-stressful. So one of my biggest wishes for today is that you and hopefully the rest of the world will eventually come to adopt the understanding that cortisol is not a stress hormone. Yes, cortisol is involved in stress, but cortisol's main job is to deploy energy. It's an energy producing hormone. In 